All right, so there are a few other things that I want to show you how to do on uh, WordPress. Um, one of the things that we want to do is add a new tagline, okay? Something that's more you. Uh, I want to make the home page my welcome page. I want my home page to be this page, okay? The one that everybody sees when they first visit this site, okay? Should not be your post right? A blog post. Rather, it should be your um, personal bio page, okay? And I also want to show you how to add and change the widgets over here in this navigation column, okay? Uh, so let's go to the dashboard. And the first thing I want to do is uh, change that tagline, that subheading, okay? Instead of saying just another Marymount Commons website, which is the default, I want to change that. The way you do that is over here in settings and general, okay? So here's the tagline, okay? Uh, you could do a few things here. You can alter the tagline to say, um, you know, something about um, my life as a writer, okay? And then you may also adapt your site title. Now remember, your site title can change, but your the URL that you use, okay? Uh, the URL that you use here cannot change, okay? This is set in stone, so think about that, right, when you're creating your site. Um, but your site title can change, okay? So I have, right now, my writing portfolio. Maybe I wanna say, um, maybe I want this instead to say, instead of saying my writing portfolio, maybe I want it to be uh, more specific so people know who they're reaching when they visit this, um, this website, okay? Maybe I'll make it Dr. Howe's writing portfolio, okay? And with the tagline of my life as a writer. You can do all sorts of things here, right? Just think about the goal. This is the main title and this is your subtitle, okay? Um, go down here and click Save Changes, okay? And then I'll show you what that looks like. Notice that it changed up here as well. And on the site itself, these two things have changed, all right? So that's where you set that information. The other thing I'm going to show you is how to um, replace this default structure which puts your blog posts on the main page. And I want to show you how to instead default the main page to your about me or welcome page, okay, rather than your blog posts. So I'm going to go back to dashboard and we do this in the settings um, portion where it has to do with um, reading because this is how people come to your site and how they engage with it as readers, okay? So your home page displays what? Your latest posts or a static page? Right now it's set to display your latest posts. Now if you want to set up um, a blog on your portfolio site, you can, okay? Um, I have done so on mine, okay? You do not have to make it your home page though. You can create a blank page that you call my blog, and then you set your posts page to that page, okay? Right now I'm gonna set my home page to a static page, and I'm gonna set that to my welcome page, okay? Um, and if I wanted to set, as I mentioned, my blog posts, if I wanted to have blog posts on this, what I would have to do is create a page that's called my blog or something like that. And then I would select that page from this list, okay? Obviously there isn't an option for that right now because I haven't created one, okay? Um, but it's pretty obvious how to do that. If you don't wanna have posts at all, you just d simply don't, don't select anything. You just keep, keep this blank um, option available, okay? Um, all the rest of the stuff you don't have to worry about because we have set our posts page to nothing, so we are not using blog uh, WordPress as a blog platform. Um, and I'm going to save my changes. Now, if I go back and look at my web page, you will notice that the main page is my welcome page. Okay, that is this page right here. Welcome. Okay. Um, so you'll also notice that the the um, widgets over here have gone away and that might be a problem for us, okay? So um, we will look into that in another video.